In this film we're going to be looking at the dehaze slider in the likes of Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw, obviously the Camera Raw setting within Photoshop as well. So let's take some images first of all into the uh, Camera Raw. So let's just go into File, Open in Camera Raw. And I've just chosen four completely different images uh, to actually show the difference uh, within the actual slider itself. Uh, let's kick off with these uh, young girls in the park because I think with the backlighting coming through, the dehaze really does kind of show itself off and things really. So if we just kind of come in closer for just one minute and we just concentrate on this dehaze slider. So if we obviously take it to the left, we're going to add haze in. If we're going to take it to the right, we're going to take haze out. Now what you can see straight away what it's doing it's basically adding like a fog in or trying to take away fog in. So it's using um, uh, the removing the haziness from a photograph really it's almost kind of seeing through um, the, the bad light and things really that's that's what it's trying to actually just give a little bit of sharpness and things really. So if we look at the same thing with another image here once more we add haze in so it comes this mushiness so it's opening up it feels like the shadow information whereas if we're pushing it to the right hand side and we're adding uh, haze into it and things so in other words we're we're not adding haze into it mark we're actually taking haze out of it we're increasing the contrast there and it almost becomes sharpness but what we're actually seeing it's all affecting what is the mid-tone it feels like so without us touching the clarity and the texture what we're already doing is being able to increase the dynamic of that photograph anyway so let's just go back to where it was to begin with this is the natural image then we actually uh, increase its um, dehazing as it were so we're taking the haze away and then we can see already how it's almost kind of bringing the darkness in as well as it brings the contrast that's where we might have to go in and perhaps add in a slight uh, in increase in the brightness to the ex overall exposure or we might be picking up the likes of a um, adjustment brush and just going in and painting in the parts that we basically want to come back to life and things really so um, I suppose the the dehaze it's it's a good one to look at with the likes of as I said this backlit shot just up uh, in Giants Core Causeway in Northern Ireland uh, just a kind of a quick grab shot just getting my exposure settings before I began a whole host of images and things um, so the first thing would be is if we've got an image and that we've got the basic correction so in other words we've opened up the detail within the photograph that is acceptable to us um, obviously it depends on what it's going to be used for um, but it, then we start to actually look at the dehaze hazing once more and we start to kind of take the haze uh, or add in the haze now by going in the my, uh, the minus so in other words we're kind of giving this foggy almost backlit flare effect whereas when we push it upwards you can see already we're starting to lose some of the detail down in the shadow area of the rocks um, but we are increasing the contrast overall so that is basically the simple explanation of the dehaze as the name suggests dehaze is capable of removing the haziness from photographs as well as the ability to add a bit of haze for effect if that's what we want.